guys, thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Wednesday, September 25th. So we're about six days away from Q4, which starts next Tuesday on October 1st, officially. Who's excited? I'm excited. Um, I've been excited for a long time. I had a couple of live shows uh, talking about all the stuff that you guys could be doing to prepare yourselves and your business to have a really successful Q4 successful and profitable Q4. So we have about six days left and there are five things that we all should make sure that we have already done and if we haven't, get them done. Six days left. These five things should be done by everyone. Like the title says, we're in that final countdown. So let's go over these real quick with you guys. Number one, is your shipping area organized? This is so super important especially for those of you who've never seen a queue before before and don't know what to expect if you're used to shipping one or two packages a day and say you suddenly double that to four or five or you're used to 10 and now you're doing 15 to 20 it can be very overwhelming when your sales increase you're shipping more and if your shipping area isn't organized in such a way that makes sense for you to quickly get what you need package everything up and get it out the door you're going to be spending entirely too much time on shipping you're gonna feel stressed out you're gonna be overwhelmed it's not a good feeling um, so make sure ahead of time that wherever you ship whether it's your dining room table if you have a shipping table a she shed a man cave wherever you do your shipping from get everything organized your bags in different size piles your boxes separated your tape your scissors your um, box resizers, anything that you guys use on a daily basis to ship, get it all organized, get it nice and neat, and you'll thank me later when you're shipping more. Um, and on the heels of that, make sure you've ordered extra shipping supplies. I've been preaching this one for a while. Um, the mail gets slower the closer we get to Christmas, and the USPS.com website where you order the free priority supplies gets snail slow. So if you run out of something and you need it, you're going to be waiting for a long time. I always say it's better to overorder now and have extras coming out the tail end of Q4 in January than to run out in the middle, order what you need, and it doesn't come in time for you to ship your items out. And you have to, um, you either have to spend a lot of time frankenboxing or frankenbagging something or you're running to Office Depot or Walmart last minute and paying those excruciating prices for shipping supplies that you could have bought so much cheaper or even gotten for free on the USPS website. So get your shipping area organized and order more supplies. Number two is your inventory system in place. This kind of goes right along with organizing your shipping area. If your inventory system is not organized and nice and neat and, and you know, you, if you don't even have a system, I don't know what you're doing, you need to spend next weekend going through everything and creating a system um, because you want to be able to look at an item that's sold, know where it's at, grab it, and ship it. If that means putting it in your SKU line or your description box or even if you just know, hey, this is a teacup and I keep all my teacups on this one shelf and I can they're all nice and neat and I can just see the one I need and I can grab it. But get some kind of order going for all your items. Uh, shoes, hard goods, clothing, and have a way to, de to denote that either in your head or in your listing so when you are selling more you are not wasting time looking for things or losing them you're like oh I sold double what I normally sell and I pulled it all nice and neat I'm sure that everyone including me has had an instance where you couldn't find something that sold and it's frustrating and you waste a lot of time digging and you waste a lot of time looking can you imagine when you're even busier in Q4? Um, and I don't want anyone to deal with that kind of stress or that kind of feeling of overwhelming, oh my gosh, I fail. So just get your system in place, make sure it's organized, make sure you know where everything is. Number three, have you gone through your death piles and your I don't want is and dug out your best sellers? Now obviously you're going to eventually have to list your death pile. If you don't, it's just sitting there doing nothing for you. It can't sell if it's not listed, it's wasted money. And you're gonna have to go through all your I don't wanna's 
and decide what's worth listing and what's not. There's a reason why it's in an I don't want to pile. And you can redonate it. But for right now, as we go into Q4, I've been telling folks to focus on the best sellers. If you have clothing items like ugly Christmas sweaters, Halloween costumes, dog costumes, uh, scrub tops with Halloween or Christmas themes on them, t-shirts that have Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween themes, Hanukkah, anything like that, the clothing um, that has to do with the holidays should be dug out and listed, um, new with tags, Anything in the box, brand new toys, gift sets, mugs, glassware, anything that's in the box, especially like gift sets, dig those out and get them up. And then look at your hard goods and think about what's unique and what's a collectible and make sure they're up. For every weird item in the world, there's somebody out there who collects it. And that somebody has a special person, whether it's a friend or a family member in their life, who will find that item online and get it for them for a gift for the holidays. Uh, so think, you know, expand your mind, think outside of the box. Like you may think, well, I have this really weird possum plush that no one in the world is going to want. Well, possum, possum, that's a mouthful. Say that three times fast. A possum plush is really hard to find, you guys. It's a very rare animal. I have only ever seen one possum plush, and that's why I'm using it as an example. But out there somewhere... There's a person whose favorite animal is the possum, and they love them, and they collect them, and they're hard to find. And someone in their life will find your possum and buy it for them for Christmas, even or holiday, whatever holiday they celebrate, even if it's used. So kind of think outside of the box. If you have unique items, items that are clearly collectibles, like you guys know Star Wars, Star Trek, D&D, &D, World of Warcraft, um, Marvel Comics, DC Comics, all that kind of stuff, get it up. So get them best sellers up, you guys. Number four, have you hit your goal of the amount of active listings you wanted on any of the platforms you sell on, or all of them, or some of them, going into Q4? If you said you were going to go into Q4 with 2K listings on eBay, do you have 2K listings on eBay? If you said you were going to get up to 600 on Posh, did you? Do you have the 300 you said you'd have on Macari? Just examples. But if you had a goal of the amount of listings that you wanted going into Q4, please spend the next six days getting there. You'll thank me. You'll thank yourself. You'll sell more. Number five is something I have been harping on for months. And I hope you guys listened. Did you create good routines? Because if you didn't, you need to quickly get into some kind of groove. It does take 30 days to create a new habit. So if you're doing something new or trying a new routine or you're starting to exercise, anything that's new, typically you have to force yourself to do that for 30 days and then it becomes natural, almost like you can do it on autopilot. It's just part of your day and part of your routine after a while, 30 days usually. So I've been telling you guys for months to create a good routine for your business. Do these things in this order every single day to make yourself successful. You need a bullet journal, a notebook, pieces of scratch paper, a chalkboard, I don't care. You need somewhere to write your routine down so that you follow it every day. And in addition to that, you need to be making to-do lists of everything you need to do in a day. Um, not just for your business, but say you needed to call the dentist or call your doctor or pay a bill and you get overwhelmed with your routine and your to-do list for your business. It's easy to forget to do those other errands or tasks you needed to complete so I like to do a to-do list every single day I know what my routine is for work but sometimes the routine has to be a little disrupted because that may be the day I need to take 20 minutes to go online and pay all of our bills or 10 minutes to make it you know call the doctor make an appointment um, call eBay about a return or something so it's good to have your routine written down and follow it every single day so it becomes second nature but you need to have your to-do list every day too everything you need to accomplish every day in your personal life, in your business, with your family, with your friends, so you get everything done. Um, and don't tunnel vision on that routine so much that you're neglecting other areas of your life. So make that part of your routine as well. I've said that before. You should be sitting down every night before bed or first thing in the morning, however you work better, whether you're a night owl or a morning person, and making that to-do list. Um, 
And moving into Q4, you also need to keep in mind, I did want to add this um, on the tail end of the routine um, tip. You need to be making sure in Q4 that you're leaving a little extra time for listing. Because if you're selling more and you want to maintain your, your level of listings, you're going to have to list more. So if you, let's use easy numbers. If you normally hang out around a thousand listings and you sell ten, uh, five items a day and you list 10 items a day, you're going to kind of grow by five every single day and you're going to hang out right around 1,000. You go into Q4 and you start selling 10 a day, your number is going to drop. You're not going to grow anymore or you're going to stay stagnant. So just leave a little bit of extra time to do a little bit of extra listing in Q4 to keep up with those numbers as you sell more. So um, real quick, I'm going to recap off five and then I'll let you guys go because you've got a lot to do. You've got to get busy. we got a lot to do before Q4, guys. Number one, get your shipping area organized, order extra supplies. Number two, is your inventory system ready? Double check. Make sure you know where everything is and you have a system in place. Number three, get those best sellers out of your death piles and the I don't want us, get them listed. Number four, make sure you've hit all your goals of how many listings you want active on any of the platforms you sell on before we head on into October. And number five, have you created a good routine? Is it written down somewhere? Are you following to-do lists? And that's it. So... Get on top of these. Make sure that you have done all five of these or you are working on all five of these into October um, as we begin Q4 next Tuesday on the 1st. And um, you'll have a much more successful and profitable Q4. And I promise you, you will have a less overwhelming and less stressful Q4. You might have smooth sailing all the way through if you follow these five tips and not stress out or get overwhelmed at all except for that overwhelmed feeling when you have too many items to ship but nobody ever complains about that right it means more sales all right guys go be productive go get ready for q4 don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave it really helps our channel if you haven't already you'd like to please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo join our facebook group you can look for us as the flipping hippos reseller pod on facebook or you can use the link in the description box to join and you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Flippin' Hippos Everywhere. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you guys. You are the best. Bye.